Why, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, GS, and welcome back to another franchise gameplay where we are in week uh, 12, I believe, going up against the Denver Broncos. And sorry if I, I may seem a little sluggish in this commentary, man. The boy just just had, by the way, happy Easter to everybody who, um, you know, listened to this commentary on Easter Sunday. If you're not, then you're going to be watching this video like 15, July 17th, 2015. And be like, it's, it's not Easter. What is this idiot talking about? That's a <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I just had a delicious today. Easter he dinner provided by Grandma. And Abuelita throws down one of the best cooks the right. ever Keep to live. And we had... Just and a plate was just delivered to me, and man, we went to work. We went to work, and uh, so I mean, so I, if, if uh, I seem a little sluggish, man, your your boy just got a, a delicious home cooked meal from grandma. And if anybody know anything about grandmas, there's a, there's not a single grandma on this earth that can't cook. Grandmas know how to throw down, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Alright, so, um, it's been a while since we went ahead and had a franchise gameplay, so, um, I, you know, you guys can go on ahead and take a look at my roster as, uh, you know, the, the slideshow shows you guys and stuff like that, so, uh, we are undefeated this season, this was the year that I went ahead and got, uh, all defense, you know, all defense, didn't worry about offense whatsoever, uh, you know, just really focused on drafting defensive players. And I went ahead and selected with the first overall pick. I got my man, J.J. Swizzle. Got J.J. Swat, J.J. Watt. And then um, after that, I, I can't remember who was second, third, fourth. But I do know it was just all defensive players, man. And uh, uh, the, the team is great. You know what I mean? So playing in all Madden, this is my third time doing the franchise. I've noticed that. Um, moving the ball on offense, eh, you know, if you know what you're doing on offense, <clears throat> you can, I, I feel like you can move the ball, you know, pretty fairly well, you know what I mean, uh, all Madden, playing on all Madden, it's not their off, I mean, it's not their defense that really lets you know, oh, this is all Madden, this is tough, it's their offense, it's their offense that is tough to stop, you know, it's their offense that no matter what it is you do, they always seem to find somebody open, it's their offense that... If you blitz nobody, they won't have any extra blockers. If you blitz, you know, a two-man extra blitz, you know, if you send six, they happen to block an extra tight end. Or if you send seven, they block a tight end and a running back. They just know. Psychic. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> that's what makes it very difficult. So, on the first season, I had the Vikings, and I drafted AP and nothing but a whole bunch of offensive linemen. And uh, we just ran through the year, even though my defense was horrible. Um, it was tough stopping them, but, you know, we got a few necessary stops per game, and uh, we just ran the ball, ran the ball down their throats, and uh, we were tough to stop. Able next, to the year after that, when I say next year, I mean um, next season, uh, we went ahead and got a new league with the Cardinals, and we drafted Kaepernick, and, you know, this one I wanted to be heavily offense-based, but passing-wise, considering the Vikings were all about the run, and I had Vince Young, and I barely passed the ball. So the next year, they're like, okay, I, I want a pocket quarterback, and I had a very late pick in the draft. I don't know what pick I had, but it was extremely late. There was nobody available. I wanted like a Tom Brady or Peyton Manning, but none of those guys were available. So uh, the best QB available, even though he's not technically a, you know, a old school pocket passer, was Kaepernick. You know, obviously he's got good speed. So you know, I took him along with some offensive weapons and. I think we had uh, Des Bryant, I want to say Tavon Austin. We just had a squad offensively. And uh, this year, I wanted to do something different. Like, you know, I'm not going to worry about the offense. Let me switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to do nothing but defense. And um, I want to say this right here is the easiest year that I've been able to have so far. On the Vikings franchise, I lost twice in the regular season, won the Super Bowl. Cardinals franchise, I lost once, won the Super Bowl. I believe I lost just once. And this year, so far, I'm undefeated. And uh, I want to say it's it's a lot easier playing with this team than it was the other due to the fact that the defense is so stout, man. Um, if you guys paid attention to the earlier part of the video when they were showing the lineups, you guys would see the defense that I have. Um, I think we have, um, I don't know, because this game was played like a month ago. And uh, I haven't played franchise since, so I'm not really, I don't have a fresh mind on what my team is. But 
Um, you know, my Xbox is on as I'm doing this commentary. So let me go over, head on over to uh, Connect Your Franchise. So I can actually uh, let you guys know for sure what my uh, lineups are. So, uh, okay, we're going to go on ahead and there we go. He wants to return okay. this one. Breaks free. First and, and we're going to go to starting line real quick. Or depth left. chart, I should say. Uh, right now, he we are up 10-3. to three. They actually have an opportunity. Well, they had an opportunity to make some things happen. But like I said, man, the defense is really good. First and goal. Uh, okay, Throws Nick Foles. Ball's going to be incomplete. Oops. But Second we're just goal from the seven. Nick Foles, Legarrett Blunt, Terrell Suggs able to make the back. I don't really have anybody. Bryce Foles Butler, Darius Hayward Bay, Touchdown. you know, Denario Alexander, Jonathan Baldwin. No, nobody big on offense. Really, not we'll even my offense line. But defense is where we shine. As you see, halftime, we're up 17 to 3. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got JJ Watt on the left end. Then in right end, we got a Desmond Bryant, who's been a monster. He's up to 90 overall. D tackles, I got uh, Dontari Poe. And then we also got Terrence Cody. So two guys who are block shedding monsters. Linebackers, we got Levante David left. Luke Keekley up the middle. On the right, we got Vontez Burfick. Corners, we got Champ Bailey, Vontae Davis, D Milner. Then we got Deshaun Goldston, and then we got Cam Chancellor. That's who we took in the second round. I believe we went with Cam Chancellor, came back, and then got Goldston. So we got two safeties that bring the lumber that hit very hard. And then we got, you know, great linebackers, very good front seven, very good front 11. Just the front, everything. Just the team itself is really, really, really good. You know, um, the defense is just, you know, amazing. And when you're going up against... Uh, you know, a, a team like any team really in all Madden, it, it can be difficult to stop. But like I said, this is the easiest year I've had out of all of them. The defense, I, I literally sit and tune in under all game. Like I know blitzes, you know, in, in the first year I led the league in sacks with Daniel Manning. The second year I led the league in sacks with uh, Patrick Willis. And um, he had like 37 sacks. It's not stupid. And this year, like, you know, I'm not going to do any blitzes. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to stick in two men under my defense is really beast. And J.J. Watt, actually, I believe, leads the league in sacks. And um, <clears throat> just off of block sheds, man, and, and getting sacks, which is crazy, uh, the amount of block shed sacks. Right now, he has 17 sacks, man. Oh, yeah, we also have Joe Hayden, too, at cornerback, man. Joe Hayden, um, who I believe is uh, – Wait, do I have? No, 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 that's not Joe Hayden. I'm bugging. I seen defensive league leaders and uh, has JJ Watt up top for sacks. Oh, we also have Joe Hayden. No, the hell I don't. <laughs> but JJ Watt, 17 sacks so far uh, on the season, and all due to just block shedding. You know, I usually stick in a dime, two man under. You know, try and you know get some shades out there, and hopefully we can um, we can jump some routes. And uh, the coverage is good enough to where. J.J. Watt, after, after like four, no, that's way too long. After like two to three seconds, he's already in the QB's face, man. And what's crazy is that since I've been developing him, he had uh, like a 98 power move or something like that. So if you guys know about um, about building your team, you know, you guys know that, uh, you know, when, when you go to um, increase the player's level and all this stuff, it gets, it, it's expensive. So his power move is like 98. And to raise it up to 99, it's like 45K, you know, development points. <laughs> His finesse was like 78. That was the cheapest thing. Everything else for J.J. Watt is super expensive. But finesse was like 1,000. No, it was like 750 per point when I first started. So I got his finesse up to like 90-something. So he's damn near unblockable with high finesse, high power move, you know, um, just high... Um, everything <laughs> You know what I mean He's really tough to block And uh, we get actually a whole lot of sacks man Because our coverage does really 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 well And um, Actually before this video ends Let me see if I can go on ahead and Tell you guys uh, Who got how many sacks and whatnot. So Okay uh, Okay I don't think I'll be able to find that out in time Nonetheless a lot of sacks All over the damn place <laughs> All right, uh, maybe I will find it out in time. Okay, I did find it out in time. 
Okay, so we're going to go to uh, defense. Terrible. And we're going to go to sacks really quickly. Stay with the and J.J. Watt has 17. Desmond Bryant has 8. Uh, Dontario Poe got 7. Cody got 5. And then Levante David 1 and McKinney 1. That's it. So all my sacks come from D-Lyman. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy GS. And I am out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.